And the camera taking the photograph could have been positioned on the chest of an astronaut, and that astronaut could have been about two foot higher than the astronaut that was being photographed. To this end, we could analyze the shadow in the image. Basically, the information we have and can make use of is we know the width of the visor in the image, the focal length of the lens used on the camera. Using that information, we can analyze the shadow of the astronaut's left leg and determine between the two astronauts the variation in height of the surface. The variation in height of the surface between the astronauts is typically a few inches. It would have to actually be two feet to explain the incorrect positioning of the camera when the image was taken. I'll be honest with you, I think that's pseudo-scientific, nitpicky claptrap. And again, I don't know why we should spend even a moment uh, trying to judge that. But as we've seen, there are indeed crucial problems with the photographs. This is the point. The so-described nitpicky, pseudo-scientific claptrap is not pseudo at all. The analysis has been undertaken based on the laws of physics. Why is the center reticle not in the center of the image? The exact answer to the question is uh, I don't really know and haven't even bothered to go find out. And the reason is this is 30-year-old stuff. Uh, we, we mounted this expedition, the, the expeditions to the moon, almost 30 years ago. And frankly, uh, you know, I had a chance to look over the, the points that this person was making. I didn't understand them. I don't understand why we should spend the time to go off and do the research to look up uh, to prove to people that we went to the moon. The fact of the matter is we did go to the moon. While noting that Brian Welch referred to one single expedition to the moon and then corrected himself, it's interesting that NASA, via its media representative, declares itself not accountable to the public for its actions. This despite the fact that NASA went to the moon for all mankind. And surely the fact that one individual spokesman claims he doesn't understand the questions asked does not in any way invalidate the demand for a proper response and the necessity for a proper response. And finally, in this picture with the sun behind the lunar module, the front of the craft is clearly visible. The words United States are crisp and clear. How could these backlit pictures be so detailed? It's because there's more than one light source, which means they're not on the moon. But NASA simply dismisses these arguments. There are a number of claims uh, that the pictures taken by Apollo astronauts were faked. And there are so many, it would be an exercise in futility to go off and try to answer all of those. But the questions continue. When presented with these questionable photos and videos, NASA refutes the conspiracy theories. Some range from incredibly complicated to incredibly goofy. Uh, there are arguments that are um, wrong optically, they're wrong physically, they're wrong scientifically, they're wrong historically. There's uh, you know, a great deal of claptrap that is sort of woven in to these arguments.